What's up everybody? Welcome to King's Dominion by Home Cedar Fair Park. Always good to be back here. And while they're not getting a new roller coaster or a big new attraction this year, they are doing Probably some did. huge renovations <laughs> to an original one. You excited to do revamp Grizzly? I really am because my last few rides on it, I really, really didn't like it. Like I, I honestly was like, I don't think I'm gonna ride that again. Yeah. Uh, and then we got the news that Gravity Group was coming in to put in their fantastic pre-cut track, which is like brilliant. The glass smooth. Like we did it on like the Beast, we've done it on uh, Zeus. Yeah. It's phenomenal. It's so and good. It's gonna bring new life. And from what I've heard, they've reprofiled some sections, so I yep. think it's, it's gonna feel like a brand new roller coaster. And yeah. For that, I am very excited. Yeah. So they didn't do all of it. I think it's about two thirds of the layout. I think the ending is still the same, uh, but like the drop is a little steeper now. It's a little bigger. Um, really, really really cool stuff. So we're going to go and show you guys what the new coaster looks like and give you our thoughts on it. You know what's funny is if you ask any first time guests to try and find Grizzly around here, they probably first of all have no idea what you're talking about because you can't see it from anywhere, but you literally have to enter through this gift shop and it's so bad and so hidden that they have a sign here telling you where to go because that's how obscure this roller coaster is. So for that reason, this thing's never had a line anyway. So we'll see if this retract changes anything. And if you like Grizzly so much, they do sell merchandise. Look at this, that looks like the cocaine bear poster. He's I'm not gonna lie. He looks like he's doing like this, where he's like. And here we are, going up the entrance. And something that I just witnessed that I never used to see. The people in front of us went straight from the exit back in line. This thing was never popular enough where people would do that. Full train of riders. Our first ride is going to be in the second and back, which is always the best row on this ride. All right, first impressions. That was great. Yes, definitely a lot better. So much better. It still keeps the airtime and what made Grizzly great, but it's a whole lot smoother. Yeah, those two spots are like pretty gnarly eject here. Like Yes, yeah, so the drop Startled definitely gives me. more airtime. Uh, the hill in the tunnel was always the best part of Grizzly, and I would say it's still the best part. Yeah. Um, it's maybe not quite as janky, but it still absolutely throws you. Oh my gosh, it threw me like to the point that I was actually a little startled. You can see where the retracking stopped. It's you like the last it too. <laughs> it's like the last third of the roller coaster, which is still rough. There's one section like before that like final wraparound turnaround. Um, where it, it definitely has a bite to it, you know, a little, a little jolty here and there, but it's not too bad, you know. No, definitely not. I think it would be cool if at some point King's Dominion <laughs> says, hey, let's redo the whole thing. But, uh, you know, as of right now, I don't feel like it takes away from everything that they did. Like, it doesn't feel so incomplete that it's like a harsh difference, at least from where we rode. No, Maybe, it's like, it's like yeah. Juice. Yes. Yeah, like, it, like you can tell, but it doesn't really ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Seat, it'd be more noticeable, but here we go. We go up front. That's our line, which is about average actually for Grizzly, but still full trains. Round two, this time up front, and it's definitely still a back row ride for sure. <laughs> I would agree, but I would also say that there are a few times that you get airtime being up front because. A lot of times with these older like wooden coasters, you kind of get pushed through. Like when you're in the front, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about. Where it almost feels like you're getting your end a little bit, <laughs> but in like in a good way. Like that makes any sense. But you get airtime in spots that you don't get in the back. Okay. No, but then I, the I can understand the that. The others aren't as strong, so it's like a trade-off. Yeah, I just think for that for the first drop, like the first drop is is uh, oh, yeah, fantastic. So now that we've experienced it, let's show you guys a little bit of what the coaster looks like from outside the park pathways. King's Bay was so kind enough to show us backstage. Yeah, because you never really get to see it otherwise. It's, it's really far back there. Oh, I know, I know. I think we're also going to get some good views of Twisted Timbers, which should be a lot of fun. You can see all this new wood on it going around this turn. This part used to be very brutal, so great to see they're able to smooth that out. Look, there's all the new wood on the airtime hill right there, and you get some great views of Twisted Timbers. There's the cutback, which you cannot normally see from inside the park. And the uh, trick track double up down there, which is just like insane.
So cool to see this just massive wooden structure. It's an area of the park that's usually like you associate with being like tucked away on the woods. And you can see all the trees just surrounding it. All the wood beams that we're walking under. Here's the turnaround section. The lighting is so perfect for this. Look at these shadows, all the wood bents. So we're looking straight up. Now on the far end of Grizzly. And here we go. Here's the spot. Look at that first drop. This thing looks so good. And here, the train's about to come around this turn. I know, it's a fantastic drop. Here you can really see how it like swoops to the side. That spot right there at night is just, oh, fantastic. It's so dark back here, it's just like very far removed from the rest of the park. I know, the park closes early tonight so we are not able to do night rides today, but uh, we'll be back later this summer for sure. You can see all the individual markings on the pieces of wood for while they're working on this thing. One thing we learned is that they lowered the bottom of the first drop so you can see how it's literally like right up against the ground. So before this it was I guess a couple feet up. How cool is it getting up close to this attraction? It's really cool because it's you know it's one of those rides that you can't see from Anywhere, anywhere, yeah. So first of all, a huge thank you to the folks at Kings Dominion for giving us this opportunity to show you guys what this ride has looked like with its all its fresh wood and everything um, and from vantage points that, yeah, you, you don't normally get to see. Absolutely. So, yeah, let's go do some other rides in the park. There's signs up around the park advertising Grand Carnivals coming back this year, June 24th through July 9th. If you haven't been to one of the Cedar Fair Parks when they're doing this event, it is fantastic and I highly recommend it. Two relatively new restaurant changes at King's Dominion. The Mac Bowl is now Taco Shack. That, I believe, happened over Winterfest last year, although Taco Shack is not currently open, so I guess it doesn't make that big of a difference for today. And then Subway is gone. Used to be right there, and now it is all quiet. So with Chick-fil-A also being gone, that means that there are officially no more chain restaurants in the park. Obviously you still have things like Starbucks, but in terms of like how you used to have Panda Express here and Chick-fil-A, Subway, now they are all gone. And here is our former Chick-fil-A location. So while Grizzly may be like the big new attraction renovation we're getting this year, this is the big new restaurant renovation. It's now gonna have a fireman theme and serve barbecue. And we saw some photos that Kings Dominion released on their blog, and the menu looks amazing. You can see how it's come along. As of right now, it is not open, so we will not be trying it out. However, when we're back later this summer, we're absolutely gonna give it a try because Kings Dominion's food has just been getting better and better every single year, and I cannot wait to see how this tastes. And here is an example of some of the food items that they're gonna be serving. Oh, that looks so good. Opening summer 2023 here just on the edge of Planet Snoopy. Lunch today is gonna be at Outpost Cafe, the new for 2022 restaurant that opened here at the park. There's my plate of food looking really good. And if you drink, they do have a new Grizzly IPA that you can get in the park in honor of retracking. I-35 had a bit of a late start this year due to supposedly a part shortage, but it is back open now. We're excited to get back on one of the most intense roller coasters on the planet. Maybe the most intense. Right after a big old meal. I know. <laughs> what, what better time to ride? <laughs> There is nothing else like that in the world, and let me tell you. Never, no, will never again. That's a one of a kind. Just so intense. The first turn is. That was the first time I'd done that in a while. And like, that was like the hardest I've ever really trained out on anything. 
Yeah. I was like, am I ever gonna come to again? I don't know. I think I might be permanently <laughs> stuck here. <laughs> yeah, the way it just like numbs your body until you like come into that like smaller hill, like or you well you return to consciousness probably on that that larger airtime hill right after that first turn. But I don't know, depending on like you have to say that when you come back to consciousness, it's <laughs> messed up. Dude, I don't know what happened with this thing, but I love it. I know, I know. And also the uh, gentleman start your engines is playing particularly loud this year oh yeah lot, I mean versus sometimes there I swear like it, it's just like you barely even hear it or something like that so I do love the ride offs that I'll start out, out with by saying ladies that way when they hit. ladies and yep. gentlemen I'm like thank you <laughs> it gets the hype like like up here when they have the same they're rocking energy and then the spiel is just like they like so much energy, energy. the ride offs yeah. are fantastic up there Plus absolutely cool. and per usual every year Kings of Man always has new merchandise this year, look at this, you can get your own Eiffel Tower. That's so fun. Also, I love this design, that looks fantastic. Nice classy mugs too. Kings of Me has always had a bunch of Twisted Timbers merch. This one in particular is new, <laughs> that makes me laugh. That's hilarious, and tons of stuff from Jungle Expedition still. One thing that's always bothered me is they've been light on i305 merch for the past couple of years. It's just pretty sad, because if you didn't get some when it opened, then you're pretty much out of luck. Although they do have a nano coaster. I already have that one, and it looks fantastic. Highly recommend. So there you go, a look around Kings Dominion, showcasing some of the new things that you'll find around the park in 2023. Retrack Grizzly is definitely the highlight. Got a couple more rides in on it, and back is just awesome. The airtime in that tunnel is just ridiculous. Um, absolutely sends you up out of your seat. Something that is absolutely a must do at the park. If you didn't like it before, you'll probably really like it now. But I also, again, can't wait to come back and try out that new restaurant. Uh, it just sounds super good. But yeah, Kings Man, looking great. Park looks awesome. All the rides are running really well. So come out here and experience them. So thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.